Hello, and welcome back to Ice on ASMR with your hosts, Misha and Michael. Hello. We have that portal in the background there, just ominously waiting. Yes, I believe it was last episode that we went through the portal for the first time and found the nether, and poor Michael uh, died at least once. Uh, w once in the lava in the nether uh, in the nether yeah, once, realm, and then once in the lava just beneath us in the cave. Yeah, I uh, no, actually three times. The third time was we came back through the portal, and apparently rather than transporting me, I just fell off the other side of the ledge. Oh, right, because, yeah, you, uh, because there was just a, a sheer drop-off on the other side of the portal, and so... You, what you're supposed to do is just wait in the purple stuff wh while it transports you, but uh, yeah, you went right through that. Yeah, I thought it was like the Stargate. You have to push yourself through in order to, oh, to transport. Yes. But yes, that would that would make oh. sense, but uh, no. Have you have you been here while I haven't putting up more storage boxes? No, I I I believe I did this last time. The last time we played. Hmm. I okay. I'll trust you. You're always over there, uh, clicking and doing things, and I don't notice it until much later. Usually, I'm just organizing stuff, and like over here, I put some iron in the oven, and now I have the iron, and so I'm gonna put it over here or somewhere. This is so. I did you know this because I I was just told this today by an eight year old that apparently. If you take carpeting, which I don't have any left now, I did have the magenta, but if you take carpeting and put it on the bed, it acts as covers. Oh, let's try that. Hmm. Well, it's not working, but I only have one piece of carpet. Maybe I need to... Hmm. It That's does... strange. Oh, I... It doesn't I... seem oh. to be working. Oh, there's some that's <laughs> floating sort of, above the bed. Yeah, hovering above the bed, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call that covers. Maybe if you're eight years old. She was able to get it to work. I actually watched her. I don't oh. I don't know what the trick is. Um because the her beds were actually looking blue, so Maybe I need more carpet for some reason. Um <laughs> Pop. The answer is always more carpet. Did she perhaps combine them in a crafting table? I don't think so. No, well, it's probably... I'm trying to remember what the sleeping on the bed is. Just right click. Oh, I can only sleep at night, it says. I wonder if, um, if maybe if it's up really high and then you click to sleep on the bed, maybe that's what makes it look like covers. That seems possible, I suppose, but a little bit... I, I don't know. I... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like some sort of OCD taking over here. All right, let's... We've 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 tested that out and uh, come up lacking. So let's uh, let's maybe try something else. Are we are we going back into the Nether or are we uh, going to do more with our cave or what's our next? I I need I just need to know because I need to know what equipment to grab besides this piece of blue carpet. <laughs> right. If we go into the Nether, uh, we aren't, for example, going to want to bring our really uh, valuable pickaxes like our like our diamond and our diamond and our diamond pickaxes um so it's really i i guess it's up to you do we have a task or do we have a project we're working on um well the project we was looking at that uh, um abandoned temple or whatever in the nether right uh oh yes we were well we we had stumbled upon the I think it's a fortress, something like that. And we were looking around it. Um, we could go gather resources from there and then bring them back and modify our current house with some cool materials from the nether, if that I sounds could do appealing that. We, to you. In general, uh, we should maybe, 
and maybe that's the first step, but in general, I think we should start working on this house, like making, we've got a good little cave here, but our exterior for the house is kind of lacking, don't you think? That's true. It's basically just a, I mean, it's like a carport right now. Yeah. So there's not a lot to it. Maybe we should uh, work on making more of this, but uh, maybe maybe the nether is step one for that. I don't know. Well, um, if we at the, at the very least, it'll give us some more materials to work with, and that'll help. A little, it usually helps give me ideas for how to proceed with uh, building. Okay. How do I close this door? Right click. Okay. I thought right click would start destroying it. Is that left click? No, that's I've... left click. <laughs> Okay, I, it's a day goes by and I lose everything. That's why you've got to you've got to play this game often enough that it becomes just muscle memory, and you won't be able to describe it to anyone, but you'll be able to do it without even thinking about it. Um. Okay. So, what should I arm myself with? Uh, pickaxes. But Probably. not diamond ones, right? Not diamond. Um. Just normal pickaxes. Do you have? Uh, there's some. There's some in here. If you want some. Okay. Um, All right. I've got an one iron pickaxe. You think that's good? Uh, bring bring one or two more, just just in case. Okay. Um, and a, and a shovel as well, just in case. There isn't too much to shovel in the Nether, but there might be something. Um, I was so way ahead of you there. Okay. And maybe some torches. Oh right right right. Um. Okay, so let's see, to make torches, I just need sticks and coal, or what was the other half to a torch? Coal, yes, and there should be some wood in the in the chest above the one you're looking at right now. Oh, uh, there actually was some in that one. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I am, let's see, uh, if I remember this right, I do that? Yeah, okay. And let me just stock up on some torches here really quickly. Um... Apparently, this character that I have is Alex. That's what I was told uh, also today by the eight-year-old who told me. Oh, sh damn it! Threw everything. Uh, who told me how to make covers on the beds. Oh, I I missed the first part of that sentence. Sorry. What was that? Um, <laughs> you were you were too excited looking at the beds. No, I, uh, it, it it just I, there was silence. Oh, I I was told. That my figurine is Alex, apparently. Oh, Alex, okay. She probably wouldn't anyway. know the name of mine. Now, yeah, you are, uh, I've actually been watching a Let's Play of uh, Assassin's Creed, and I can't remember the character's name. Uh, Hitwa Balrari or something like that. Oh, this is Our an writer. actual Assassin's Creed character? Um, yeah, that's the, that's the, um, oh, what's his name? I think Duncan Miles is the character's name in the present. Oh, that sheep came down here. Oh, remember sheep I was has joined us. Remember I was, I was trying to keep that sheep away I, from the portal? I remember that. Is it going to catch on fire and die? Oh, it, it literally just caught on fire and died. So we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll ignore that and continue. Yeah, why is this on fire over here? The, any of these blocks are flammable, so if uh, if there's been, I don't, I don't know, sometimes stuff is just on fire here. This is hell, after all. And and you had me bring torches. <laughs> to okay, what are, what are we uh, what are we looking for to uh, mine? Well, I think uh, right now you can gather some of this stuff. It's called another rack. Um, it's obviously very plentiful, so it's not particularly rare, and I don't think it's particularly sturdy. So if we were trying to uh, build with regard to protection from creepers, it wouldn't be the best for that. Um, but it's, I mean, if, it, if the color works for our, our color scheme, we should, we should use it in building anything that way, I suppose. Plus, we're on safe mode, so no creepers. Right. Plenty of uh, plenty of lava, however. Yeah. Which you oh, have can we discovered. do the? Um, I didn't grab one, but can we do the bucket of water thing down here with the lava? The uh, I 
don't know if I've ever tried it, but I believe buckets of water don't work here. For some reason, I think when you try to put them down, they just disappear. Otherwise, mm. yeah, that uh, that entire lava ocean down there would be would be a pretty incredible obsidian field. Yeah. I can just hurl the lava over there. I'm always worried when I start to just randomly mine blocks around me that I'm going to make it so that uh, uh, so that I get trapped and I can't jump up again. Well, you can always put blocks down again to uh, to to help you with that. I suppose. I'm wary. Remember how I mined that um, the glowstone last time? I just no. built a tower. Oh, I built a tower and chopped oh, it all down. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the stuff that broke like glass, yeah. Yeah. Um, so this stuff we might want to collect. This is, uh, this whitish, reddish block here is nether quartz. And I think this can be made into blocks. Uh, blocks of blocks of quartz, so they become white blocks when you when you build them. Okay. And are they also flammable? I don't think so. Oh, what is that spire in the distance? Um, your distant settings must be sent set farther than mine. I can't see a spire. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me that... uh, let me change that real quick. Render distance. Eight chunks. Ten chunks. How, what what's your render distance at? Um, options. Uh, Video um, settings. Okay. Twelve chunks. Oh, okay, I'll try twelve chunks. We'll see if my computer can handle that. Um, let's see, I still don't see a spire. I see a lava flow. Is that what it is? It looked it, like yeah. if you back up, it, it looks more, uh, um, it looks more like a spire. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's lava flow. Good to know. So, you know, don't step in it. Right. There's a whole bunch of place not to step. What? Hmm, okay. I guess I, I find it very strange down here because it's like, uh, what... I, when, like, 40% of your ground is non-navigable, what is the kind of point, I guess? Well, again, this is this is hell. You're you know, you're probably not even meant to to you know come here at all, but we have harnessed the um, the occult forces of the unnatural and the supernatural and built a portal for that purpose. So uh. I, I don't know that there's any real um, you, you know there's there's not going to be an instruction manual or anything. You know, other than the wiki, because we're we're defying the laws of nature here. It's just uh, inherently unstable ground for um, activity. Some sometimes I like going against what what things were made for. You know. Well, I think we all do. I think it's sort of like human nature to do that. I don't mm. know. I could I could be wrong. You know, I was actually. Um, I was listening back to our earlier ones and where we were talking about, you know, what if what if our universe is in fact just something akin to a, um, a Minecraft um, server that had been left to its own devices. And I was curious, are you, um, you know, if in, I don't know, I guess in hell too, but especially in the overworld where you're supposed to be, if you... Just start going east, say, you know, you, you mm -hmm. decide a way is east and you just keep going that way. Will you circle back around to where you started or will you eventually, uh, will it just keep filling in new stuff? No, the, the Minecraft world is flat and it just keeps going pretty much forever. Um, you it, it, So yeah, it'll just keep randomly generating terrain and that you eventually the uh, the memory like... The uh, 
I don't know what it is. It's like the memory capacity of the server will like reach a, reach a limit and you can reach the limit, but you can only do it through like modification to the program, like teleportation mods and stuff. Um, Cause otherwise you'll just, like if you try to walk, it, you just will just keep walking and walking and walking forever. Hmm. And and things start looking weird when you get out to that point, right? So I've heard, but I've never I've never tried it and I've never watched any videos about it, but I might want to. That sounds like fun. I um I was just curious because I was thinking if it keeps going on forever, then that kind of answers uh, you know, one one of the things that I've always had difficulty with grasping about reality is that supposedly our universe is infinite right? right and it's like how how can any measurement uh exist if the bounds of your reality are infinite you know what i mean like how uh how how can you quantify a foot or a meter when when there is no end to anything well i think that's part of the the issue isn't it like that everything we measure is only measured in uh, relative to something else that I, I don't I don't know that there's any sort of um, there's not really any base unit because we just have to keep comparing sizes of some things to sizes of other things uh, right yeah and um, um, and so I guess I just thought you know if if the uh, whoa whoa uh, if the um, if the Minecraft server, whoa, holy crap! Uh, I fell and I can't see. Hold on, sorry. Um, uh, I, I figured if the Minecraft server like had a way to, uh, there you are. Why can't I put down a torch? Where are you trying to put it on this? If there you, we go. Okay. Any anywhere so that I can see. Okay. Um, I, uh, but I figured if, if the Minecraft server had a way to get around that, you know, if kind of the answer was that infinity exists because the farther we get away from where we are now, the memory blocks or whatever don't have to fill in until that point. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> like whatever the Hubble telescope is exploring right now didn't actually exist until we threw something into that part of space to uh, to see it. But and see, that might we, be an answer. We didn't throw anything into that part of space. We're just taking in light that has already come from that point in space. Well, so we think. Well, what what is your what, uh, what is your other what is your alternative uh, hypothesis to that? <laughs> just that it's it's almost um it's almost like a uh, like the universe is truly solipsistic that it that it uh you know that what we think was uh light that was there before is actually um um uh, actually just doesn't even exist until we look at it it's it's kind of a particle theory sort of uh particle physics sort of theory uh, about the infinities of space that that does sound pretty solipsistic, uh, if not if not narcissistic, to think that things won't exist until we encounter them. I mean, what? Uh, for, okay, how would you how would you test a hypothesis like that? I don't know if there's any way to test it. It's um, but if a Minecraft server worked like that, then it would at least be proof that it can be done that way. Hmm. Um, that, oh, that, which, that was that's similar to my uh, something I was thinking about. I don't know if it was with you, if if this was from our conversation, but we were talking about um, or like the the theory that reality is a uh, like a simulation, just an just an illusion and everything. And um, mm -hmm. we know that that sort of thing can be done. That uh, reality can be simulated. That, that you know that perceptual reality can be can be simulated because it happens to us every single night like it's it's already been right. done the only trick would be to figure out how to do it uh, how to do it more consistently and 
on, on purpose. Right. Yeah. I, I constantly wonder, uh, am I in fact some sort of disembodied entity or some sort of just entity that's not like my corporeal self on this earth who decided to play a game on hard setting for no apparent reason? <laughs> Yeah, I've I've heard that sort of idea before, um, and I mean, I, I don't know. Those ideas are interesting, but uh, I I think they're also they're they're just they're not testable ideas, I, at least as far as uh, we've conceived of them. No, certainly not uh, that I know of. But my thought was simply that. Um, it, it was a way for me to imagine infinity in a way that made sense, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and so that's really what I was looking for more uh, uh, was just a, um, a helpful, um, what's the word I'm looking for, a helpful um, a paradigm, I guess, um, a rather, than, uh, rather than a testable. Mm-hmm. That Sorry, makes sense. you broke up on me there. What was that? Oh, I suggested the word framework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not that's not the word I was looking for either, but but it, but it works too. Yeah. That word I'm looking for, we'll never know. <laughs> that that happens to me. It's I, I mean, of course, you you start talking about any of this too much and. I start sounding like the professors I hated in my Phil classes at college, you know, <laughs> it's like, but what if we're all like robots, man? And it's like, it's like you just built your career on the fact that you wanted to smoke pot every day, you know? <laughs> hey, if that's a viable career option, then maybe they should just go for it, especially if they're only robots living in a dream sim simulation. Right. <laughs> One of the... One of the best I thought was like we were talking about, you know, the perception of time and how that is a uh, uh, pretty much a construct, right? I mean, there's no, there's really nothing that necessitates that the past isn't happening right now, right? But we experience it differently, and uh, and he's like, well, what, you know, wait, what would that mean for the past to be happening right now? Isn't the definition of now, like, what, what like, given that now and the past are two are defined differently how could the past be happening now what, what would that mean well it would mean that um it's i i don't oh man um i don't know how to i'm terrified to follow you down there i'm gonna fall um okay don't uh, worry about it i'm just getting <laughs> some stuff the um you know, the idea is like, for instance, um, if you put a small box right in front of your eye and a large box farther away, then it looks as if the small box is bigger, right? You can um, optical illusion your eye. And in the same sense, can't the way that we perceive the flow of time just be some sort of optical illusion? Because it's, it's a sense. Um, and uh, can it just be tricked? And how do we know that... We aren't viewing things through a lens that makes time something different than how we think it is. Well, that's that's an interesting because I wouldn't call the perception of time a sense by by any I th means. I, I would call it a uh, conditioned, um, like our thought process of perceiving time is basically just a conditioned response to the fact that events happen. I could I could be wrong, but I believe it is now considered a sense. Um, uh, maybe I'm wrong, and it's uh, I'm using that badly. But in in any case, you know, the professor w was just like, you know, he's like, I was just thinking about this last night, and I just I was sitting on my couch, and I had a pen, and I was marking some papers, and I just I dropped the pen, and I was like, but that just happened like now, man. <laughs> And I was like, you get a salary for this. <laughs> um, well, we were talking about measuring and, and everything. And the, I mean, time is the same way where you, you, there's no unit of time. The only way we can measure it is, you know, relative to other things. And the way physics works, uh, I'm 
I'm not certain about this, but like space and time are not they they can't be separated. That's why it's called uh, space time instead of just time and space. Right. That that what was my idea, of, or that's that's what I thought anyway. I I put that up there. So if you're using that as a following torch, you might be going the wrong way. Well, I I took down my own following torches and. Uh, so I don't know where to go from here. I I wanted to head back because um, I'm almost. Oh, my pickaxe is almost done. Okay. Um, are do you think going down there is the right way to go? Or I think so, yes, because we came up through the hallway floor. I do remember that. Oh yeah, right, 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 and and uh, I got trapped. Um, okay. Now I'm following you and trying to stay far away from lava. I just had a ridiculously adorable little glitch where you zoomed away. Oh. Um, okay, okay, so here see. are some I... like blocks that are hanging out, so that must be the right way, right? I hope so, but I don't see any torches that I might have left to indicate where we're supposed to go. Um, hmm. Maybe I just didn't put any down? Yeah, you were drinking heavily. W was I? <laughs> this is the first time <laughs> hearing of it. I, uh, I recall that quite clearly. <laughs> um, okay. Now I lost you. I went down these stairs. Turn around. Hold on, hold on, because I... I could be wrong, but I swear we came from that way. No, I th I think it was this way. Could turn, yeah. Uh, come over here, because well, we went we went up. Oh, I see. Some I stairs, see what you're saying. Yeah. Sort of thing, not actual stairs, but yeah. Okay, okay. This also looks familiar. Everywhere we're going, kind of oh, yeah. looks familiar. I think I think that. Lava flow over there was the uh, pill. You thought it was a spire. Yeah. Okay. I was I was trying to backtrack from that too, but I guess it kind of looks like that from every angle. <laughs> I suppose it would. Okay. There's some torches, so I've got to remember to leave those more consistently as place markers. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember going in between these two pools, and it's terrifying. <laughs> oh, there's our nether portal. Don't walk too far through it. I, I did uh, block up the other side so that that couldn't happen anymore for you to fall off. All right. So you say, here we go. Really sad about that sheep. Yeah, that was that was a bummer. That was that was sad. Poor what thing. does this green number in the middle of my hearts and turkey sticks mean? Oh, that's your level. Uh, so you get experience through various uh, things, um, either by killing enemies or mining uh, slightly more rare ores. Um, oh, so now now I can cast Magic Missile, right? Well, not quite. You can enchant weapons. And, uh, well, you can enchant tools. You, you can do enchanting, but we'd have to build an enchanting table. Yeah, which means we'd that, have to build okay. a library, because the books give power to enchanting tables. That's okay. So it's just like real life. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very, very much like that. Okay, um, so here, if you want to, I don't know what you were able to mine, but here, take some more uh, nether brick. Where the hell? Oh, there. Okay, what am I taking? Oh, I threw some nether brick at you, and we can figure out where to put it. We could, we could make this the floor. Hmm. I gotta admit, I like my dyed wool for the floor, but maybe out here that's not a good idea. Um, 
we could have we could why don't we extend this space a little bit and make a make a bigger structure maybe put some uh put in some wings like uh let's see i'm just gonna model it out with dirt first because that's the easiest to uh, destroy after you put it down okay i'm gonna just get rid of all this kind of grass hanging around here oh sorry sheep night sheep that was uh i think that was an 80s metal band night night sheep yeah like i saw a night sheep with a uh, warrant back in 91 it was awesome doesn't sound like the name for a metal band. Oh, you're you're being facetious, aren't you? I can never tell with you. I am you a riddle wrapped inside an enigma, Misha. Wrapped inside a mystery, yes. That's right. Wrapped inside a quesadilla. Delicious. Mmm. Night sheep. <laughs> okay, so that's not really a name. You never know with metal bands. No. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, I think it's just a tree, but it just it looks weird out here. Wow, pickaxes suck at trees, huh? Yes. Um they're not they're they work as well as punching the trees. That's why you want to use the right tool for the job, so that you don't use up your tool on something that's not actually more efficient. That's far too difficult. It's still better than using up your pickaxe on the tree. This is, this is good, having this up here. I'm getting all sorts of new shots with my camera. Oh, good. My camera kind of looks like a pickaxe, but just ignore that. <laughs> Are there any uh, Minecraft-themed bands out there? I'm sure there have to be, right? Oh, I'm sure there must be, but I've I've never heard any uh, any music from any. But I would sure like to. I mean, if we have a um, um, a cult classic based on Portal, we've got to have something from Minecraft. Well, I don't know. It was based on Portal, but it was also uh, created for Portal. So I don't know if that is quite the same thing. Mm. I bet somebody has built like a working guitar in Minecraft that they use to create <laughs> songs about Minecraft. Now that would be cool. You can you can actually just create I, th I think there's a musical instrument you can create that that exists in the I, I maybe you can I don't know. I feel like I've run into something like that where you can maybe it's not part of the Minecraft uh, like default tools, but some you can with Redstone, it's you. It's always with redstone. Mm. It's always about the redstone. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't like when it's night out here. It's like as much gamma correction as I have on, and it still makes it. I'm still fighting to see half the time. Well, if you'd like, we could uh, go inside and go to sleep and come out in the morning. Would no, you like it's to? okay. It's you know, it, it, it'll it take provides like a couple atmosphere. Seconds. I just. Oh, that's true. I just hate that I can't see anything. Oh yeah, I guess we have construction uh, lights. torches. There you go. Ah oh, yeah, that's so much better. And 
now when we play, I have I'm just an old lump of coal stuck in my head. Huh, I don't know that song. I mentioned it before, but I'm gonna be a diamond someday. Oh yes, yeah, we were, we started talking about diamond in the rough, I think. Yeah, and creating diamonds out of coal, and why Superman is a dick and holds up the American economy. Right, right. We have some like, pretty decent conversations here. <laughs> That's because we're interesting people, Misha. Oh, of course. Can't imagine the people who just like play this on their own, what they talk about. Although I guess I've watched you talk about stuff, so. Uh, yeah, and although generally I don't talk to myself when I'm not recording. Hmm. I do, but only to argue with myself. Oh, well, that, well, I suppose I do that, but mostly that happens in my head. I I do it out loud. That and I talk to inanimate objects a lot. I don't know if that counts. Um, I'm sure it counts for something. Here, will you move out of the way? You're in the way of the block. I need to... Oh, thank you. You're still in the way again. Okay, thank you. I was trying to get past, but can I can I pick up animals? I don't think so. If you get a saddle, you can ride a pig if you're interested in that. Um, it's not really the way my interests lie. Uh, but I uh, I was thinking more. Um, we should like put an animal on top of this building, make it like the uh, mascot of this building. Oh, that. Uh... No, I, I don't think there's a way to do that. Um, it is it is sort of difficult to get animals to go where you need them to go. Um, like if you want to breed them, like you have to, or like if you want to put them in a paddock, like you have to build the paddock and then try to push them over there or hope that they go in. It's difficult. All right, well, it's been a little over a half an hour, and we're knee-deep in animal husbandry at this point, so I think it is probably time to uh, call it a day for this session. Um, and uh, we'll be back with more house building and uh, possibly using some nether stones. Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Nether rack, I guess it is? Yes. All right, goodbye. Bye.